Hello friends, welcome back to Chemistry Nuggets where you can polish your knowledge and clear your doubts. So friends, today we are coming with one more video with the exceptional case and we need to find the oxidation number. The problem is we need to find the oxidation number of sulfur in Na2S4O6. So let's start. Na2S4O6 as we should know and remember this if we calculate the oxidation number of sulfur by the normal formula we will get the wrong answer why because whatever the answer we get that is called the average oxidation number okay so if there is a question that uh, find the average oxidation number of sulfur in Na2S4O6 we will use the formula so for uh, putting in a formula so sodium is having always plus 1 so 2 into plus 1 plus assume sulfur as x so 4 into x plus oxygen is always minus 2 and that will be overall 0. This should be our equation to find the oxidation number in normal procedure. Let's find. So this will be 2 plus 4x minus 12 is equal to 0. So 4x is equal to 12 minus 2. That will be 12 minus 2, 10. So x will, will, will be 10 by 4. Or we can say 5 by 2. But this 5 by 2 is not the oxidation number of sulfur. We can say this is an average oxidation state of sulfur in Na2S4O6. So this is okay if the question is about the average oxidation number. But when there is a question about to find the oxidation number of each and every sulfur in Na2S4O6. So we can see easily that there are four sulfur atoms. Then what we will do? We will draw the structure and we will count accordingly. So first of all draw the structure. The structure should be like it will be four sulfurs and they attach to the oxygen like this because there are six oxygen atoms. O, O and O and this oxygen will be minus charge because outside it is attached to Na plus. So it means we can say sodium is making a bond with oxygen. So this is the actual structure. Now from this structure we will find the oxidation number. As we know the concept behind is the electronegativity. The more electronegative will take the electron and acquire the minus charge. In turn it will make the other atom bonded atom positive like A and B are attached with the bond and B is more electronegative. Then it will take the electron towards itself and become negative and A will become positive. This negativity is the negative or oxidation state of B and the plus is the oxidation state of A. Same concept we will use here. But if there is a bonding between A and A, what will happen? Both the atoms are same so they have the same electronegativity. That means they will pull the electrons with the same power and therefore the electrons will not move and it will sit in the middle and that's why there will be 
zero electronegativity on both of the atoms. So this two concept we will use. First of all, first will be used in case of oxygen and sulfur. See we can see easily sulfur is bonding with three oxygens. In the first case, I can write it here. This is sulfur number one, sulfur number two, sulfur number three and sulfur number four. Now, so in sulfur number one, there are three oxygens. So oxygen is always more electronegative than sulfur. That means oxygen is taking the electron pair and become minus. So we can see easily there are on this oxygen there are two bonds. It means two times. So it will take minus two. In turn, it will make sulfur plus two. Here again minus two, and here it will give plus two to the sulfur. Here in this oxygen only one bond, so minus one and plus one. So how much this sulfur is having? S one is having plus two. Plus two plus one. That is plus five oxidation state. Now come to the one and two. The bond between number sulfur number one and sulfur number two. Both are same. So the electronegativity will be zero and zero here. Again on three that will be zero, and on four from sulfur sulfur bond there will be zero. From this minus two and plus two. Again minus two, plus two here minus one and plus one. Now come up to as sulfur number two we can say zero. Sulfur number three oxidation is zero and sulfur number four oxidation number is again plus two, plus two, plus one, plus zero. That is plus five. So this will be our answer. The oxidation number of sulfur in N N A two S four O six that will be five zero zero five. So thank you for watching the video, and if you have more questions, feel free to write a comment. Thank you.